This particular pilot was something that came out of our Office of Student Support. And they were looking uh, for pilot sites. The Human Rights Campaign is piloting this uh, curriculum about uh, diverse families and anti-bullying, especially for GLBT families. Um, and they're piloting it in three different states, and one of them is Minnesota. The first that I had heard about it was through a letter that we received um, by the school stating that um, Hale School had had quite a number of um, incidents of gay name-calling. The principal of Hale, Bob Brancali, was writing his school improvement plan and they were looking at issues in their school. Um, he felt there were too many that were being referred for using um, gay bashing terms in a bullying way. And so he was looking for a curriculum that would address bullying and would address GLBT issues. And it just happened at the same time that we were looking for schools that wanted to pilot this curriculum. My initial reaction was I wanted to go and find out um, what the human rights campaign was all about. They are a political action group and they do lobby the federal government for their agenda. That just raised big flags for me because in the letter I got the feeling that it was an anti-bullying curriculum but the backer of it is purely for one group. It probably has a stronger focus on GLBT issues. It, it is coming out of the Human Rights Campaign and um, their focus, uh, uh, much of their focus is um, the rights of all families and all people, GLBT emphasized. So uh, it does have that focus and that's why the principal thought it would be a match for the needs at the school. What other choices were there? Because I think when a school is trying out any new curriculum, where, whether it's math, social studies, reading, they look at a lot of different options. And I want to know what other options were looked into. I think the discomfort probably came from the fact that there is included uh, a recognition of GLBT families, that they um, talk about them, they have video that includes them along with other diverse kinds of families and I think that there are people whose um, religion or moral values say that that isn't acceptable and um, don't want their children hearing about that in school. The curriculum has the potential to undermine things that a child may be learning at home and it may, may or may not go against the belief systems that their parents have tried to instill in them. So then the child is put into the position of having two contradictory messages. It would be good for us to have a breadth of programs and strategies. And so if Hale pilots this curriculum and the teachers say, this was really great, it was easy to teach, the resources were clear, and we found that the name calling has been really cut down. Uh, there's a lot more respect among children. Uh, we, we rate this pretty high. And so then we have another tool in the tool bag. Anybody that is coming out against this is being labeled as anti-GLBT. And I think that's not the case at all. I think we come from really a lot of different backgrounds, many different cultures, religions, polit politics, um, and we just all have questions about whether everybody's voice is going to be heard.